take a quick look on the bright side of life. Ta da ta da ta da. Where are you? Ta da ta ta da. So I'm surprised. Are you surprised to see me with nine tails in the professor's? Who are you, Carl? Okay, so you got a lot more victories on your defense, this sunshine. I have some, I have some papers. They give me information of checking out the systems of the configurations of the game placed. This player's got five percent perk percentage, so he's an average Joe. Five thousand donations, it's not bad. It's okay. Around four battles a day. With two wins per day. Fight wise is alright, but defense means you've been rumbling a lot, sunshine. Look at that. Nine hundred seventy five, I don't know, see? The knowledge of the game, that's the one. So let's take a look. Got good defensive and log sunshine. I've been through the best and the worst. I could drill right through there like as if I'm going deep sea drilling, you understand what I'm saying? So you've put your... Ah, so the cannons from... That's so smart. Yeah, that's the one. And look, you've even put... Look. So it's like Alcatraz, you understand what I'm saying? Prisoner stock Friday. Okay, so you got... Who shot that dude? I don't know, make a video here. Okay, you got a nice mortar. Okay, you're covering most of your... See, I explained to you, look, can you see the hit points on this 9500? Zero, zero? If you were to add up all the hit points, yeah? yeah. Why is it on shot out there? Yeah, so basically, when you look at your... You look at the ARRs, yeah? You, you do the ad additionist. The monkeys. You check out how much structures is covering, you understand what I'm saying? So the eight triple is very well. Mmm. So two precesses will just knock them out and that Yeah. So see once you take the fort out and you come this way, because the walls are thicker here, the bombers might want to go through this direction here. As it's a bit thinner because that wall is a less compared to the strength of that wall. Mmm. Okay, is this long range or short? Okay, long range. Oh, see, that's covering, look. That's covering the shop. Yes. Yeah, I see what's going down. Fish and shits plus mushroom. So they, he must have some mines over here somewhere. The mines look like this. This is definitely a mine. Because that's where the grass sticks out a bit, you understand? Maybe. Maybe it might just be a flower pot. Park is a mine. This player knows that once the fort goes down, let me see the range, that covers that, yes. So where's your mystic mines? What? You don't want mystic mines? You do. Oh, you've put them right there, so when those... The ice cream va... Oi! I'm making a pity in here, you monkey. Oh my word, my bit so bad this everyone. I didn't mean to do this. Look how well the cannons, the range is all about the range. This is also a, a thunderstruck layout too. Oh my word, and the ramp is next to the wall. And he's got no, he's got a little flower there as well. Little flowers and rainbow and glitter and stuff like that. We like a bit of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a really good idea. I might make this into my own island. <gasps> is this long range or short? Let's see. But oh, it's long. See, this is really good. So why the monkeys you got that all the way out there for? You could use it. I think that's all right. You could stick that over here between... I don't want to give too many ideas. Why not use your flag so that... Okay. Okay, it's cool. Oh, so you want when people come to hit you, they want to put one gunner here, one gunner here, one gunner here. So they they four gunners down already, and they they're gonna get as soon as they swim in, the cannons from the pirate hall are gonna hit those swimming in from they're gonna get hit. That's so smart, Carl. Ten, ten, ten. 
Yeah, I think you got a cool island, you know. Hmm. The unique rebel is giving too many ideas away. The monkeys. Sorry about that, people. This wasn't my plan. I just wish that this fort was placed somewhere more. Because it just takes an aeronaut. Yeah? Can you see where this atrium plants are? I explained to you, right? I ex Let me explain to you this, okay? One, two, three. Alif, bar, ta, A, B, C. Let's go. So basically, once the fort goes down, all the percentages covering all the defenses, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all those percentages for all those defenses plus together that 9,000% that you were given percentages to is all that 4,000% that you're giving percentages to is all gone. So the only down part of this island is I feel as if, I, me personally, I feel as if the fort is not placed well because I feel as if Look at the hit points on the on on the pirate hall. Forty two thousand. Okay. What's second most highest? Twenty thousand. Yeah. What's third most highest? This is twelve. Yeah. That's four and a half. That's nine and a half. That's eight seven five zero. That's nine and a half. Yeah. What else has a high? Hit points. I know that the silo has a decent amount. 5,000, yeah? The storage is, is like your main bone structure. That's 10,000, yeah? So these two here, this one, even the ship can be taken out with an aeronaut. Well, yeah, so the only thing that I will say is, but then they, there's a ramp, so it stops troops coming in. So overall, it's a very good island because I think people put an aeronaut here and then that aeronaut when it finishes here it will go straight here and take out the ship so aeronaut wise these two structures can be taken out straight away and the A triple R's cannot cover them but they are covering a lot of the other I think because the A triple R's are covering the shark traps because if aeronauts are placed around these other areas, aeronauts tend to go towards shark traps. But otherwise, this island is pretty much very well covered. It's a great island. It's a good island. But the second and third most highest hit point structures that give higher percentages for a loss are actually very vulnerable. Once the fort's taken out, once the main ship's taken out, the percentages between those two are like 10 15 easily. And all of the pirate hole gives like a 12, sometimes a 14%, 18%. Gives like a high percentage. But that's very well defended anyway. But other than that, it's a pretty good island. It's quite, pretty tight. It's pretty good. The players, that profile shows... There's, it's, it's a decent island. There's, there's, there's islands that have far better stat profiles than that that I've seen. But uh, I feel as carla has got a really good island, a respectable island. One that it just takes, it just takes thinking. It takes a lot of thinking sometimes. See this hail, this person here. I, I'm pretty sure this person is a is a veteran because I've seen this player drop PR and come up on PR. Because the thing I was saying with this player, I love this island. I wish I could just copy and paste it. I would. I would take this island on any day. I would love to take this island on. This is the island that I'd always want. Because I just, I just really, because I've lost against this island, and I like the way. Because this player has got the same thing as that. I think that cloud player. Can you see the ground panel is facing right there to the, and this this ramp you can't go through this. You see, unless you're Sadie. And that, I think that helps. That helps to stop a lot of troops from coming straight in. I like this. I, I like. I really like this island a lot. I like. I really like that island a lot. But anyway, allow me to go. Allow me to go. As I wish you all well. Wherever you may be.
Keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising. Free gameplay in Germany says it evolve. But one most importantly, the real lives. Let's take a quick look anyway. For me, I'm always doing, I'm always on the lookout what's going down, fish and chips plus mushrooms. Let's see, where's that cloud dude gone? There's that cloud dude. Yeah, the defense is not all that really. But I don't know. I don't know whether he's got the ramp there as well of the guild ship. No, no, he hasn't. Must have been some other players. They used the ramp. Of the guild ship to stop players from attacking them easily. It helps. Every little percentage helps, you know. See, instead of the ramp, they're using a wall. So, because there's gaps on the side, troops can't go through that wall. So, instead of a ramp, they're using a wall instead. That's so smart. So smart. Look how on point these players know what they're doing. I told you it's like a bone structure, you have to keep your joints. It's like a joint right there, you know? The players try to come through these walls. When the bombers come through here, all the bombers want to do at the end here, when they get to the final two walls, like the final wall, they start, because they, they, the range of the bomb chucking, they start to aim at the storages instead, until they don't get the storages out of the way. And by that time, you know, can you see the range that is going to the, can you see the first, second, third flame gate? Can you see what the range of your gun towers is? And look at this, can you see the range of the Mystic Moor right there? And then this range as well, the Moor's range is more. It's got more tile range. I'll show you, look, the tile range here is 11. The tile range here for the... See, it's 13, see? It's further. So you, the ones that have further, bigger ranges, you keep them further back. The ones that have a shorter range, you keep them forward. Closer to the front. And that's the key. And you see how this is high hit points, structures. You put them exactly where you see you're covering them. And then watch, there's going to be an ARRR here that's covering it as well. Watch, it's got to be. Can you see? The ARRR are covering these high uh, priority, high uh, hit point structures. So when the aeronauts are coming over, that's the key. That's how you get a... Uh, this player has only been a hit. Oh, because this player's only been playing for three yeah, it seems like a veteran type of a... But gradually, over time, this player will gain ground. But to be attacked 1,200 times, that means this player has been breaking his shield over and over again. Because to be playing 300 days, you've been attacked 1,200 times. You're either breaking your shield on purpose to give someone else a PR up, Hmm. Maybe you're the one that's giving. 
It wouldn't surprise me if players between guilds, if that's what captains are doing. So if one captain is giving a show to her, do you understand what I'm saying? He starts sussing things out, and that's what it's all about. Because I would do for the